I went to New York City to make a speech, and while I was there, I was asked by Millard Fuller, the head of uh, Habitat, to go by the work site. And when I got there, I saw a terrible six-story building that was filled with debris. But eventually, we got 42 people and went up on a trailways bus and had one of the most remarkable experiences of our life. I'm not sure the world would have found out about Habitat if President and Mrs. Carter in 1984 hadn't gotten on that bus and taken a group of volunteers up to New York to do that first uh, big rehab project. I never dreamed at that point that it, it would, might become an annual affair that has just uh, enriched our lives in many ways. I really can't make speeches at Habitat because I get so choked up and I look and see the homeowners and then I see all the wonderful volunteers who are just working to do something good for somebody who needs help. So I thank you. Every time that I am at a Carter Build, I feel like it changes my life every time. Because you just got to see it for yourself and all you got to do is go one time and you're in. You're hooked. It's wonderful. I can't tell you the experience. It's like you have to be here to know it. It's excellent. Just like sugar falling out of the sky. It's going so beautiful. At some point, you have to stop and just listen and the hammering of these hundreds and hundreds of hammers. When you know what they're doing, is they're building love, man. And it's, it's the greatest feeling on the planet. There's no way to describe the effect having a house um, has on a family. It adds so much to their self-esteem. In the 95, I was asked to speak to everybody. And as I'm talking, I couldn't help but remembering where we were coming from and where we were going. I just started crying. I was done. I couldn't continue. And as I was walking down, President Carter comes up and he hugs me. And he said, it's people like you that make us proud of what we do. Just think about a 15-year-old kid hearing a former president say something like that. I believe that empowered me and made me who I am. I think it's a human right for anybody to not have to struggle for the, their basic needs. And really, this apartment is such a privilege to be able to not have to make tons of money just so that you can have a, a roof over your head. My kids and I, we have grown a, a lot closer. We've grown together in this house, and there's a lot of love in this house. And it was truly a great blessing for myself and my girls, a great blessing. Long live you, long live. Long live. Long live you, long live. Long live. More houses, more houses. More houses, more houses. More houses. Where are you gonna live? Mr. Bini, you want to come? Let's go to the house number six. House number six, color blue. All right, and who helped build that house? Mr. Carter. You like the blue color? Many times at the end of the week, when the house was finished and we delivered a, a, a Bible and keys to their new house that we haven't all cried. In fact, I think that's the times in my life when I have wept more than any other for excitement and for gratification that I was privileged, along with my wife, to participate in such a great uh, project.